the Young Stallions did break up in 89. Now, it's reported your last match, or at least one of your last matches in the WWE, of course, WWF at the time, was against Owen Hart. Now, he's been pretty big lately with the dark side of the ring, and people love Owen Hart stories. Do you have anything story-wise, or what can you tell me about Owen Hart? Owen Hart. Oh, God, what a sweetheart of a man. Um, I don't remember, factually, if he was my last match in the WWE. Uh, well, we learned that Wikipedia isn't always correct, so who knows? Well, you know, it very well could have been before I jumped the ship and went to WCW, but um, my my uh, it, I, I don't remember who my last match was with WWF, but I do remember who my last match was with WCW. Yes, well, we're going to get into that uh, for part two. Okay, but if we can, uh, if you could just share a Owen Hart story, that'd be wonderful. In part two, we actually are going to bring that up for the WCW last match. Uh, Owen Hart, uh, and the first time I heard it, I knew what had happened. We were in, uh, oh God, some town in the Midwest, and Jim Duggan was with us. Okay. And he was traveling with his wife, and Deborah. So Owen went up to his room, I went up to my room, we were getting, getting ready, and we'll meet down in the lobby and go to the gym. And now in the interim, Jim Duggan was checking in. So Owen had called down the front desk for something. <laughs> and ended up, after after he got whatever he needed, he, he, he says, uh, he, he got on the phone. <laughs> he got on the phone and... You know, he, 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 uh, he, he uh, oh God, he, he got, he got one of the guys at the front desk, if not the manager. And okay. We're talking about an employee is who he got, correct? Yeah, yeah, behind okay. the desk, the yeah. front desk, whatever you want to call it. And he, he got, he got one of the guys on the phone and said, who is that back there, you know, in the back room? He says, well, he says, uh, it's uh, the pro wrestler, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He goes, tell him he can go get his own towels and stuff like that. <laughs> these goddamn wrestlers, they think they own the world, they can do whatever they want, and, and all, you know, that's, that's just bullshit. You tell him. Oh, you my. tell him that Jim Powers said <laughs> you need to take care of Oh, he framed you. you. Stop being, he framed me, yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't get me beat up because Jim and I were friends. Right, you, still. <laughs> you, you tell that, 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 that big stupid wrestler, what's his name? And they told him, I saw Jim Duggan, and Duggan said, well, who's on the phone there? He says, um, Owen Hart, Owen Hart. He goes, no, it's not Owen Hart. I'm not Owen Hart. He goes, this is Jim Powers. You tell him if he's got a problem, he can come and see Jim Powers. As a matter of fact, I'll be in the lobby in a few minutes. If oh, my. <laughs> so, Classic so, Owen. I walk, I walk down, I walk down, come down the elevator, walk across the lobby, and Duggan's coming towards me. And I said, I said, Jimbo, what's up? He goes, what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> he goes, I went up to the front desk to get some towels and things like that for the room for Deborah, for Deborah to take a shower or for us to go to the gym or whatever. And you're fucking, you know, breaking this guy's balls and I'm some kind of big dumb wrestler and uh -huh. this and that. I said, oh, and I said to myself, I'm thinking, Jim, that's an Owen Hart story. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh my! And of course, it was confirmed because Owen used to do things like um, Owen would do things like you had a room in the same hotel with him. Yeah, he'd call up, he'd block his number somehow, call up, and call Domino's and order fifteen pizzas <laughs> in someone else's name. Have them, of course, delivered to your room. And on top of that, before he got them delivered to your room, he tried to negotiate topics for the pizza. <laughs> so if you want to look it up, maybe it would do it more justice. Yeah, well, he would like, he would call, I think he would call and be like, they didn't want the pizza to begin with, but he would like say it would be free or be on the house, but then he'd push all these toppings on you. Then when you added yeah. all the toppings, you owe us 30 bucks or something like that. Yes, <laughs> yes. You need, what you need to do when you get a chance tonight yeah. is go back to uh, Bret Hart's Hall of Fame speech. Okay. It was good. It's been a while, but it was a great speech, by the way. Because not only does he mention that story that I just told you, and maybe you can... He talks about Reg Parks and all that. Yeah, 
that maybe I didn't tell it quite right, but um, but that's pretty much the gist of it. That Jim Duggan went to the desk to get some towels to go to the gym, and um, and and and, and uh, Owen called down there for something and overheard Jim Duggan at the desk, and then Owen cut a promo on the guy to put 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 him put him on the phone. Put put put. put <laughs> But get, 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 you know, you, and listen, tell you what, you tell him if he's got a problem, there's lazy, fat, dumbass wrestlers <laughs> always, always expecting something, always expecting somebody to do things for them. He can do it himself. And if he's got a problem with that, you can tell him he can see Jim Powers. <laughs> that is and, classic. Yeah. That story yeah. I did not know. That's classic. Oh, oh my. Yeah, I, I thought there was a pizza involved in there somewhere. It could have been. It sure. could have been an order of pizzas involved, but no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with because I remember walking past. I remember I don't know what town we were in, but I remember walking through the lobby and seeing Duggan at him and Deborah, his wife, at front desk, either uh, asking for I don't know what they were asking for, but they were I believe he wanted some towels or some things brought to his room. Yes, and um, when Owen overheard him at the front desk, he cut this promo on the guy <laughs> tell him that he can see Jim Powers. So oh, wow. Came, I'm sure you love that. Yeah, I came down there. Here comes Doug, and he goes, Jim, what the fuck is going on? You know, and I'm <laughs> trying to get some towels here. I'm trying to do this, do that. You know, and you're, cutting, you're telling this guy, I mean, I said, what are you, I said, that's an Owen hard thing. I've been traveling with him long enough to know that's Owen. He goes, that's <laughs> a bitch, the son of a bitch. He got, uh, he got you again. <laughs>